Hi, this is Professor Herning. This is the first video that I've made in a while, and I hope it will be the first of several videos about quick tips, things you might not realize when you first learn how to use the slide roll. Uh, so my first will be about using folded scales when doing solutions, basically that involve uh, proportion type solutions. So you're using a folded scale and another scale um, as if you're setting up a proportion. You're not going to involve a third scale. Uh, so first, to kind of demonstrate the concept, I'll do this first problem in uh, kind of a non-standard way. So here what I'll do is I'll use the DF scale on the slide roll and the C scale. So I have the one folded scale and the one normal scale. I'll find the 2.1 on the DF scale. Okay, here. Then remember, I'm going to use the C scale. So I want to divide, so I'll use this, find the 6 then multiply by 1.7, I'll find 1.7 on the C scale, and I'll read the results uh, up on the DF scale, right here, uh, 5.95. Now, that's not the normal way you would use the scales. I think normally maybe uh, you, would, you would take 2.1 here on DF, then uh, to divide by 6, you're going to bring the 6 there on CF. And then you would see that the 1.7 is off scale. Um, and But you would find the 1.7 on the C scale and read result on D. Um, again, point in, it, oops, ah, correct order of magnitude there is 0 0.595. Okay, but again, reading that uh, down here, since you kind of swapped or transferred from the folded scales to the non-folded scales. But there you, you, you use a total of four scales. So I'm not talking about that scenario. I'm talking about a scenario where you're doing a proportional solution um, and you, you're using a folded scale. Um, instead of essentially the C scale or the D scale, you're going to use CF or DF. Let me show you an example. Uh, so this triangle, uh, it's a right triangle. Um, so what you're going to do is use the S scale and normally the D scale, assuming you have trig on the slide. This uh, Jason803 slide rule has trig on the slide, so the S scale here is, is right here. So the normal solution here uh, is going to use S and D. So I would find the 7.3 on D, then I'll find the 29 degrees on S. under the hairline, right here. Okay, now, what we need to do is we need to bring the complement of the angle, or the 61 degrees, uh, under the hairline on S. Uh, but you see that's uh, un here under the brace, and that'll be off scale. Um, so what you would normally do is you would, uh, okay, come and do an index swap. Take that one, swap it with the other one. Uh, then you could find the 61 uh, right about here. Uh, read the result on D. Now, instead, let me propose the following solution. You use the S scale and you use the DF scale. Okay, so this is going to involve both sides. Uh, so what I'll first do is find the 7.3 on the DF scale instead of the D scale. Okay, right here. Then I'll flip I'll find the 29 degrees on S. Here. Okay. Then I'll move the cursor to the 61, which is now on scale. Right here. Ah, but I'm not using S and D. I'm using S and DF, so I'll flip. Read result on DF, 13.06 about. Sorry, 13.16. Uh, we better check that on the calculator. Uh, let's see here. So what I need, let's see, 29. I need the sign. Uh, let's store that to memory. Then I need 61. I need the sign. Uh, then let's multiply 7.3, divide by what's in memory. Ah, 13.17. Ah, uh, not bad. Ah, oh, that was much easier on the slide roll. 
Okay. Um, okay, for the final example, I'll do 2.5 to the 7 over 3 to just give you another example. So here I'm going to use the log log scales uh, together with the CF scale. So I'll find the 2.5 on LL2 down here. Okay, then I want to find the 3 on CF. Oops. About here. Okay, then I'll come to the 7 on CF. Uh, read the result. Result has now jumped up to LL3. Uh, is here about 8.49. Okay. Uh, you can use this uh, technique whenever you're using a folded scale and a normal scale. Uh, so let's go back to the trig solution. Uh, here's a nice use. Uh, this is a Hope 503 slide roll. Uh, it's a late model copy of an Aristo Studio. And the nice thing about this uh, from our perspective of, of this lesson is that I have the folded scales and the trigonometric scales on the same side. That's something that you you don't see with trig on the slide. Okay, when you have that, you can do that trig solution um, all without flipping sides. So you could find the 7.3 here on D. Or sorry, not D. <laughs> I'm doing the, doing the trig on slide solution. Uh, find the 29 degrees on the S scale, which is the bottom scale here. So finding 29. So I'm going to use S and the CF scale. Okay. Uh, so finding the 7.3 on the CF scale. Uh, that's the top blue one there. Found the 7.3 under the hairline. Um, now let's move on the S scale over to the 61. Okay. Then on that CF scale here, I can read that same solution about 13.16 uh, or so. Um, so that's a convenient way to use especially um, a slide roll like this, which has the folded scales um, and the trig scales on the base. Um, you don't have to flip sides. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.